Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite travel art supplies. Keep watching to know more. If you've seen my previous travel journaling videos, you definitely know that some of these materials are what I currently and commonly use. If you haven't seen those videos, I will definitely link them down below under my journaling playlist on my channel. So the first thing that I always bring is a travel journal. This is something that I bring all the time because you don't have anything else to bring so you really need a travel journal. I do have several types that I bring. This one has been something that I've used for a year. This is sort of like a travel journal slash illustration journal slash collage journal. I've tried several other ways to sort of make my own statement in this. Although most of my travel journals are not the same, I try to make sure that everything is sort of having the same theme, which is recurring, which is something that I use for documenting. I also have my common one is this one, which I have for my collages and my travel journaling on the go. And lastly, I recently am using this one, which I really, really like. This is a Moleskin A5 watercolor journal. So I am using it for my illustrations. And this is really suitable for watercolors, so it is the best one for me so far. Next is, I always bring a set of watercolors wherever I go, but I currently use something that I made myself. This is a DIY watercolor tin box filled with the colors that I use all the time. I have a video on this, I will link it down below as well. I, I tried to bring a whole pan, a whole set of watercolors, and I didn't really like how it's so bulky, so this one is really, really handy for me. With this is, I also bring my own brushes that are not generally the same ones that you see in bookstores. I do bring my own tiny brushes. This is like really, really tiny. It's recently one of my favorites. I have tiny brushes, I have detachable brushes, and I also have a water brush. I try to make sure that I bring a lot of brushes because it depends on whatever I am painting, whatever I am lettering on the go. And it's easier also to have a water brush in ha on hand because sometimes you can't have access to water or you don't have a container and it kind of gets messy, especially when you're painting in a moving vehicle. So I really suggest getting a water brush. Next up is, of course, washi tapes. I am really a huge fan of stationery and I make sure to bring washi tapes wherever I go. It's either they're bundled like this or I bring like washi samplers. I have a lot of travel washies that I always bring around. These, were the, these are the ones that I made recently, so they're available at my shop and we ship locally and internationally, so I'll definitely link it down below as well. I think washi tapes are really great additions to your journal spreads, not just for collage journals, but also for painting and basically doing things that sort of add some dimension to your spreads. I also am very particular with what pens I bring, so I have my Faber-Castell Echo Pigment Liners. These are waterproof and they're really great because not only can you draw with them, you can also use them for writing, so it's a two-in-one thing. I don't really have to bring a separate pen and I just basically use this one. I usually bring a 0.1 or 0.2 because I like drawing thin lines and detailed illustrations for my architecture, but it really depends on you. I also suggest bringing a lot like 0 0.7, 0 0.5, and a really thin one just so you have a variety that you can bring around. Speaking of writing, I also have my field notes. This field notes has really served its purpose. This is the first one that I'm I have used, I finished it, and I actually have another one now. So this is where I store all the information I get from my travels. There are a lot. Basically, I do my research, and then when I attend tours or go on a tour, I list down everything that they talk about. I also do my own research. I write my itineraries here. I also write what happened. So this is actually a great guide for my travel journals because it has helped me more of visualize what happened and how I can chronologically document it on my journals. Occasionally, I also bring my printer. So my photo printer is really useful for travel journaling because I print things on the go and it's very, very light. This is an Instax Share SP3. It's their latest model. So it comes out with square print photos. So square prints are really, really nice because they sort of have a bigger space and it's also something that's Instagram friendly. So anything that you post on Instagram, you can actually print it here. So it's pretty efficient. And I usually when I bring this, I put it here. But this case is actually very multifunctional. This is a Delphonics utility pouch for carrying tools. I got the small size 
but I think there are medium and large sizes and of course I got it in yellow and I put some animal pins to sort of decorate it. This is where I put all my stationary items such as my washi tape, pens, notebooks, and whatever can fit this baby. But apart from that, I also have a big pouch that I put inside my luggage where everything else is stored because I don't really bring everything on my backpack when I travel. It's on, always on my check-in luggage, especially when it comes to a lot of bulky things like paint, uh, journals, and they're also kind of heavy when you bring them on your backpack, unless you're gonna paint right then and there. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know which ones are your favorite travel art supplies and let's talk in the comments below. I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for updates on everything art and travel. Bye!